Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost and in the next few minutes we're going to add a special effect to this image to make it look vintage in Lightroom Web. I'll click to edit this photo and under the adjust options I'm going to go directly to effects and then dehaze and increase the amount. This is going to add contrast to my image and really pull out a little bit more information in the clouds as well as add some saturation. Now, I think it added a little bit too much saturation, but before I fix that, let's go to the post crop vignette because I know that I want a white border around this image. So if I move my amount to the right and all of the other options to the left, we get a nice border like this. If I move the feather just a little bit, we get a little bit of a soft edge there. All right, underneath the color in black and white, I'm going to use the sliders under saturation in order to desaturate the different color ranges. In this case, I really want to desaturate the sky, so the aqua, blue, and purple, and just desaturate the cactus a little bit. Now, I've lost a lot of that contrast in the sky, so I'll choose luminance and move the aqua, blue, and purple sliders again to the left in order to darken or deepen the tonality in that sky. Finally, I'll click again under Effects and use the Grain slider here. I'm going to add some noise to the image. It might be difficult to see once the video is compressed, so I'll really add quite a bit of noise or grain. I'm going to increase the size as well as the roughness, and hopefully you can see that even after the video is compressed. All right, when I like the changes, I'll click Save and Exit. You can see how easy it is with Lightroom Web to take an image and give it a special effect that makes it look vintage. And of course, all of the edits that I've made and the changes will be synchronized with Lightroom on the desktop and Lightroom on mobile. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.